Stevenson battles tonight to get the 2-2 tie with William Smith. Glenn Clark alongside Mustangs coach Tracy Johnson. Coach, you have been outscored 20-1 to in your first three games. I think it's safe to say progress tonight. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of progress there. You know, we could have fallen into the trap of really collapsing after what happened last night. Um, obviously, certainly with the first three games. But I'm proud of how they battle back and were able to bounce back tonight. Uh, Coach, uh, I heard you talking about it just a second ago, special teams. If not for that, probably a win here tonight is you go over on the power play and you give up a couple of power play but goals. Look, I know, you know it's, again, as we talk about progress, it seems like the one area that probably could have been the difference. Uh, yes, absolutely. We talked to our team about we live and die by special teams, and certainly that was the highlight tonight. Um, we've got to find a way to, to bear down on the PK. That has been um, just something that we are, are struggling with, and so we've got to get a – tighten up on that and like you said capitalize on our power play opportunities the special teams would have been the difference maker for us or it certainly was in terms of it being a tie versus a win is part of that just simply learning how to win for this group they seem like even at was 2-1 2-2 there were still some opportunities there and some really close calls to get a third yeah we had some good chances we hit a pipe in overtime and I think we have to keep plugging away at at capitalizing on our offensive opportunities and creating those scoring chances and when we do create those scoring chances bearing the puck uh, really quickly, your captain, Chelsea Blackburn, I thought she was great all over the ice tonight. She showed a lot of heart and a lot of passion. You know, it's she sticks out every time she's out there because she just goes hard and, um, you know, finally able to put one home for her and uh, hoping that's the, the first of many to come. Obviously, no, next weekend's not going to be much easier as you head back out on the road. Yeah, I told the team we're back into playing a top five team against Elmira, so we've got to be ready to get back to work on Monday and, and prepare for our next test, which is going to be a big one. Do you say congratulations after a tie? How do we end this? Is it Does it work that way, or do we just say thanks for taking the time? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think it's uh, good luck in the next weekend for sure. <laughs> we'll go with that. Coach, thanks for taking the time. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. She's Coach Tracy Johnson. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.